Absolutely. Alright, what do we got going on here? Well this, okay, it's not my invention, I got it from Team Radio Shack. This is a pantyhose, which you fill with ice, and I mean, it's, it's, this is after the race, it's all melted down, but you put it down your back, like so. Oh. And it cools you off during the race. It actually does uh, really well. It lowers during the race. During the race. Uh, I mean, they, they, I mean, they have studies about pre-race cooling and during the race cooling. It makes a big difference in performance. It makes cycling a bit safer in terms of heat stroke. I mean, it's inexpensive. Probably for like three or four bucks, you get like twelve pantyhose, which are reusable. I'm familiar. You're yeah. familiar, yes. <laughs> I wasn't, fortunately. And then you fill it with ice, and you know, this lasts like about an hour. You know, for an hour-long race, it's perfect. It works yeah. well. It makes a big difference. It makes. It what are you guys easier. gonna do? This it's just now getting summer. Time. I mean, it's going to get 10, 20 degrees hotter. I mean, is, is it? does it affect your racing? It, it absolutely affects racing. That's part of why mountain biking is so hard in the summer because you don't have the same cooling effect from the wind. It's actually a little dangerous in the summer because it's so hot. Here you have the wind, but you have to use sunblock. You have to use well-vented clothing. And personally, I have to use this. I can't race without this, personally. Really? You use yeah. it every time? Every single race, I have to. I just can't perform nearly as well without this. It, it, looks, it looks funny, but, you know, other guys are using it now, too. And it wasn't my idea. I got it from the pros, and it really works. And it's we, inexpensive. We actually used to use that in Girl Scouts. We would put soap in there and hang it from a tree and wash our hands with pantyhose and soap. That would work, too. So it's not original. I used to do that a long time ago. <laughs> I so, would it if I could, but I can't. <laughs> with the weather getting, um, getting hotter pretty soon, do you think a lot of people are going to drop out? No, most of the guys are used to racing in the summer here, and the high season for bike racing here is the summer, for road racing anyways. Uh, a lot of guys race mountain bike in the winter and switch over to road biking in the summer, so no, nah, they'll race the whole summer. It's fine. You know, they just, you know, they hydrate well. Most of the guys are experienced and they know how to manage the heat, so they'll, they'll be fine. Guys, now with Florida Cycling News. Get your message in front of cycling pros and their fans. Contact us now for a media kit and premium spot on our website. Call 954-809-8410 or click on info at floridacyclingnews.com.